Hello and happy Tuesday. It's an extra happy Tuesday because today we've got the Scrawler box. This is box number 108 and Scrawler box is a monthly art subscription box. Not going to lie, I was very disappointed the other day when I realised that yesterday was a bank holiday because it meant I was going to be delayed getting this box. And then this morning when the postman came, I didn't hear a thunk on the floor. So I thought it hadn't arrived. So I thought I was going to have to wait till tomorrow. But this is so chunky, it had got stuck in the letterbox. And there's a bit of a rattle. So let's open it and see what we've got this month. Move my tea my water that I've got ready just in case there's something that needs water I'll put it over there and move the box out of the way do you want to see what's in the box okay oh I am going to move the box out of the way just to keep you in suspense a bit longer so we've got the little package we've got the zine very nice looking cover. I like those colours, very nice. We have the print, which is by Nicola Yao. And there are Nicola's socials there. Very kind of anime kind of print, I think. And then we've got some mixed media recycled Claire Fontaine paper, a bit of texture there. This is 250 GSM, 115 pounds, and there's 10 sheets. Got the paint. And then the reason I put the box to the side is because we've got these Colorista art markers for ultra smooth coloring and blending. Oh, these are by Spectrum Noir. Now, I don't have these. They are alcohol-based, dye colour, which will mean that they would fade, I guess, over time. Oh, it's exclusive to scroll the box. And then those are the colours that we've got. Fast drying, self-blending. They're alcohol-based, they're probably smelly. So let's see what we've got in here. We've got a refresher sweet, lemon flavour, allergens contain soya. I used to have these loads as a kid and I loved it when you got to the centre bit and it was all, it's making my mouth water now and it was all fizzy, really. Um, here is the sticker. No problems guessing which part of the picture this comes from this month. Definitely there. We have a Pigron, Pigma Micron 02, like the Pigmas. We've got a Jelly Roll 08 in white. And we've got two Derwent Artists colours. I don't know if everybody will have the same colours this month. I've got Venetian Red and French Grey. And again, I don't have these colouring pencils I guess. Okay. I'm just gonna sit down now. I think I'll probably enjoy these because I don't think I have got a set of um artful markers which I think might be alcohol based but it's not something I use as a rule. Um, so that's that. Let's have a look at the scroller zine. So, some information about, shall I zoom in a bit more? Information about all of the supplies that we get. Um, QR code to find out the packet, the prices and stuff. I never look at that, I'm not bothered. Um, these, looks like everybody has got the same pencils. 
um, they are for adding the shade. It, the, can't get my words out today, guys. They are for adding the shading to the picture. This is some information about Nicola. Oh, not anime, manga. Is there a difference between manga and anime? I really don't know. My bad. All right, some lovely artworks there. Scroller tips. Now I will read this before I go any further with um, having to play with these. The Jelly Roll and the Micron are, are, and the colour pencils, no issue with using, but with um, these art markers, I do need a bit of help, I think. So blending, you can overlap them, flick the brush, use the marker to blend the pencil as well. Oh, okay. So lay down your pencils and work your marker back over the top. Hmm, interesting. Um, how you apply your marker to the page will affect the final result. Using a heavy hand and a heavy pressure will, con will create darker, more intense colours. A lighter pressure will result in a more delicate colour. Ah. Store your pens horizontally. Now, I know a lot of people, um, for one thing, why do people do this? I'm going on a rant now. Sorry. Sorry, hashtag not sorry. But why do they store their pencils nib down? I don't understand that. Surely that's not good for your nib. But pens, a lot of people do store them upright, but you've got to be make sure you know which way to store them. Then we've got things about skin tones, layering up or work fast when colouring large areas. This way, the strokes you make will blend into each other as they're still wet, so they, when they dry, it should be smooth. Colouring slowly will allow the previous strokes to dry, leaving lines and streaks. OK. Try to work your brush strokes in the same direction. This will prevent seeing varying strokes of varying directions once the ink dries. Let your layers, sorry, let layers you don't wish to smudge or blend completely dry before going over the top. And then some stuff about the, oh, they must be double-ended. Oh yeah. So, oh, and then we've got a deep dive and there's a video tutorial, lovely. I shall read that more about Nicola. And then the scroller box, Squiggle Me. What did I do for this one? I can't remember. Did I even do anything? I know I didn't for box 107 because I'd already had the paints that we got with that one. So, um, let's see if we know anybody here. Helen Jones. No, don't know anybody there. I just remembered, I think I did a boat. I did a picture of a boat, just remembered. Oh, look at these. I love again, I'm just going to go back here, how everybody's done something so different. And like, how, how you got the depth of colour on that tan paper, goodness knows, because I struggled with that, I really did. Um, even though we had a blending pen, but the pencils themselves are very nice. Um, so we've got Zoe Tubbs, Zaflona Flores and Lily Foot. cute pictures. And then um, this is the inspo page with people who have just been posting um, on Instagram, I guess, with the scroller box hashtag. So, oh, that's nice. I like that style of art. That would be something nice to try. Very nice. And then the magic of manga. I am going to have to look up the difference between manga and anime because I really don't know. Um, I'm sure you'll all be going, Sue, it's this. 
Um, so yeah, bit of story about all of that. And then the scroller box challenge, Manga Maidens. Okay. And then they are live. I don't know if I've missed this month's live. I'll have to check that out. So that's the magazine. We've got those pens. We've got that. We've got the print and the sticker. And we've got the paper. So let's open these. Now here's a question for you. Do you keep sets like this in the original box or do you put them in a pencil case or something else? Oh, I opened it upside down. So let's move those out of the way. Let's get a piece of paper. They've sent me a little message. Let's look at the little message. <laughs> Not really, it's just a packing thing. Um, so I am going to take this off of there because I don't know if it will bleed through. Quite hefty card. Um, I'm just going to put this underneath as well. I don't want to get it on my table. Let's go that way. So these are the pens. We've got Moonlight, Tea Rose, Coco, Duck Blue, Heather, Cranberry, is that gonna be Juniper and Prussian Blue? And these pens have got one end that looks like a brush nib. Ooh, -y, smelly, smelly. And one end that looks like a tip. So let's do some. So that's the. Moonlight. It's quite washed out for a yellow and it doesn't really look like the colour on the, the thing. Next one is Tea Rose. Let's keep the, the brush swatches. Oh, these are quite muted. Now, it says keep the strokes in the same direction. Well, that looks darker now. Next, we've got Coco. I'm just going to see what happens if I then colour in this bit because that will be dry. I say I'm not a an expert. Did I say this was cocoa? Duck blue. Oh, nice.
these nibs are very flexible on the brush end. So dark blue. Heather. Oh, that's nice. That's right, that one. I've got that open. Cranberry. like that one very much. Juniper. Some of them are quite scratchy. This one, this nib is quite scratchy, I think. Russian blue. Very nice set of colours. And I expect, like me, you're wondering, did it go through to the other side? So there's the colours. And no, it didn't go through. There we go. So let's see what colours shall we mix. Let's mix the yellow. The Prussian blue. It said to be quick, so I'm going to put the yellow down first. Oh. Oh. That was interesting. Zoom in and do that again. Maybe not the best two colours to choose. I was expecting a kind of greeny colour. No, oh, now that has gone through. Probably because I've, I've, there was a lot that went on there. Um, what about... See, these are quite pale colours. Well, let's see what these two do together. The yellow and the... Pinky one. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to have a serious, serious play with these before I do anything. Mm. What these two do, they're quite... 
Is that what I mean? Well, let's do the, yeah, let's do these two. I'm going to have to watch the videos, aren't I? Oh, that's nice. But you will have to work quickly with that. So let's try the dock blue and the heather. But again, no, it hasn't gone all the way through, but it started to. So, there, oh, there we have it. Box 108. I went, oh, I, I suppose I should try these pencils, really, shouldn't I? So it said about, well, let's do the pencils on their own. don't have the Derwent colouring pencils. Have I said that already? So let's see about adding the top here. Oh, that's just the colour. Anyway, there we have everything that we got in box 108. Thanks very much for watching and we will see what we do when we've had a play. See you later. Bye-bye.